T-Shirt is a song by artist Thomas Rhett. It was written by Shane McAnally, Luke Laird, and Ashley Gorley. It's a really, really modern country song with a lot of repetitive, syncopated rhythms on acoustic and electric. For the rhythm track, we're going to be combining a lot of what's going on in the rhythm on the record and kind of condensing it down for a solid main rhythm lesson. And then for the lead lesson, we're going to be combining um, just all of the lead stuff into one lead part as if there was one lead guitar player, like most videos. We're also going to have an uh, easy strum along video for those of you that just want to strum along and not worry about getting into too much crazy stuff on the acoustic. Let's get started. saying keep it down but it's hard to unlock the door when you make it now we saying that we gotta quit doing this so why are you leaning in for one more kiss and pretty soon you're sliding off what you got on and slipping into my t-shirt right there your head messed up like a gun and rolls this video oh oh so hot still got it up in my head you were moving So here we are for the easy strum along video uh, that we put together for you all that just kind of want to play, you know, strum along some chords at the campfire or like sitting there with your girlfriend or something like that. Okay, there's some chords sort of placed like where you think, whoa, how'd they get there? They're, they seem off a little bit, but that's just that's called syncopation, right? The, the notes are kind of moved up a little early or pushed back or whatever. Um, it just kind of makes the rhythm dance a little more. So E minor is the first chord, then to the G over B, C2, and the G. Strum pattern with all of that uh, is down, 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 up, down, 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 down. That's the whole measure. Down, 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 up, down, down, down. Sort of gets into the next measure after that. Nothing too crazy. Let's around. just now really. It's it's not going to be like a regular rhythm lesson where it's a, chord, uh, a strum pattern and a chord progression. We kind of did something like that for the easy strum along video. For this rhythm lesson, it's almost like somewhere between um, a standard rhythm lesson and the lead lesson. Right? We're kind of hovering in between the two because we're combining those things from this album uh, from the record. Uh, what's kind of going on with your left hand? is going to be sort of like little stabs here and there from the chords, um, just kind of little variations. Now the right hand, like the strum kind of stuff, really you kind of want to think like your right hand is uh, going to be just kind of doing the same motion the whole time. You may not necessarily be hitting the strings every time, but it's kind of like a pendulum, just kind of goes back and forth, right? It's, this would be like a really fast pendulum, but uh, just like a down, a down, a down, a down, you know, <laughs> that sounds weird. Swing 16th notes, right? Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Um, it's uh, the, pretty much the whole time. Let me play a little bit uh, and stop talking for a second just to kind of give you an idea. Um, here is the intro, okay? Kind of the first right. one um, that comes out. In the intro, uh, it's kind of some two string, you know, double stops, these little stabs here. 
uh, I'm on the fifth fret of the B and the high E string, and I play that a few times and I work my way up to the seventh fret, right? And then I come right back down to the fifth fret. The rhythm is like a down, up, down, up, down, up thing going the whole time. So we are going to be in 4-4 four, four time. It's going to be a swing 16th, right? Uh, so every beat, right, you probably already know this, just quick review. Every beat has four 16th notes, and every measure is going to have four beats. So every one of those beats, all of those 16th notes, um, some of them are swung. The second and fourth 16th notes, so the E and the uh, one, E and uh, right? The E and the uh are pushed back ever so slightly, and that's what makes it swing. So it's not, it's, it just kind of gives a little swagger to it. It's a feel thing. So like kind of try to work that in if you can, those swing 16th notes. If you haven't done much of that before, this is gonna be a great song to kind of practice that and to work on it. So we're doing a down, up, down, up, down, up thing. I'm gonna go uh, hit the, B and E string fifth fret one time, down strum and then up down muted and then up strum the fifth fret, down up muted, again the fifth fret played on the B and E, up down up muted, seventh fret on the B and E, fifth fret, okay, and um, here's where we're kind of splicing in the, the next guitar that comes in. Uh, it sounds like on the record there's maybe like an octave or pedal um, going on and all this sort of stuff too. It may even be like a slide, but it's hard to really tell. We're just gonna slide around without an octave pedal and without a slide, okay? Just to make sure that we can all play this and um, keep it all one doable part. And it's this part here is, This is the, the first um, little piece of, of that guitar. T-shirt has a pretty cool solo section. Um, there's really nothing too crazy going on, just a lot of like feel kind of stuff, some, uh, some interesting like rhythm choices, just like the rest of the song, right? Let's dig in. We're gonna be uh, up here, kind of like in the, um, the pentatonic, like the F-sharp minor pentatonic or A major pentatonic, whatever. <laughs> Kind of in that area, right? Uh, we're gonna start off with with a bend on the seventeenth fret. We're gonna on the end of one. We're gonna rest an eighth note. So be a one, right? The bend comes like right after the beat. Uh, so like I said, bend up a whole step. You're gonna come down, hit it, and uh, rest for an eighth note, and then bend the sixteenth of the that was the B string. And then we'll bend the 16th of the G up a whole step. While it's bent, hit the 17th fret of the B, and then slowly bring, uh, after hitting the 16th of the B, bring it back down. And we're gonna hit the 14th twice. I'm doing like a down, up. And uh, here's where we start this descending line. <laughs> 